Hi, this is Dr. Tiffany Jackson, naturopathic doctor at Natural Medicine Now University. Thank you for joining this webinar, Healthy Pantry Makeover and Smoothie Demo. I've invited a special guest, certified holistic health coach, Carolyn Burson, to help teach you some practical kitchen organizational ideas, and I'm gonna show you how to make a healthy smoothie. So let's get started. All right, well, welcome, Carolyn. Thank you so much for being here at Natural Medicine Now University for our cooking segment. So go ahead and start teaching us how to get healthy in the kitchen. I'm so happy to be here because I find that people really struggle with their health goals in the kitchen, and that's the perfect place to start. Yes, I see the same thing with my patients. It's Everybody's confused on how to... Right cook and put stuff and get organized and meal right. plans. So. so that's where we're going to start and the first thing that everyone needs to do is really clean out their pantry. Honestly take a look at the things you bring into your house. If you bring them in you're going to eat them. So don't think you're just bringing them in for your spouse or your children or your neighbor because you know they're going to sneak right into your tummy. So let's have an honest look at the pantry first. And the next thing you need to do is make a meal plan for the week so you know what to put on your shopping list. And just a shout out really quickly to Whole Foods. They donated all the food for this cooking segment for free, which we really appreciate. Of course, we love to shop at Whole Foods, don't we, Tiffany? Absolutely. Yes. So when we do make the shopping list, of course, there's going to be lots of fruits and vegetables on that list. And for me and Tiffany, we actually grow a lot of our own greens and herbs and strawberries at home on a tower garden. This is a vertical aeroponic growing system that you can have on your back porch. It grows all these wonderful herbs and greens from nothing but earth nutrients and water. So it makes it so easy in the morning just to walk outside and snip off that kale and put it right into your smoothie. The kale doesn't even know it's been picked. It's so nutritious. And it tastes different too. I mean, the greenness that you get and the, the bitter flavors, the greens, it's just different from buying it in a store. And I don't have to worry about who touched it either. <laughs> that is true. The other thing to remember when you're putting together your shopping list is uh, one little cooking hint. Cook once and eat three times. So if you're going to have a salad one night, be sure you have plenty of salad to have more than one. If you're going to use quinoa in a recipe, cook enough for three different meals. Maybe a warm quinoa meal, a cold quinoa salad, and then maybe another warm quinoa meal. So that's always helpful when you're shopping. And of course, organics when you can, especially when you're looking in the produce department and you checked out the dirty dozen list. We want you to hopefully get organics on those especially. When possible, we understand it's not feasible to be able to shop 100% organic. So tell me about your good, better, best. Well, I, I love that. I always live on good, better, best because we can't all, all the time be on the best end of the scale. And don't be hard on yourself, you know. If, if it's tight budget this week, then maybe you can't do organics. It's still better to get those fruits and vegetables in than to not. So remember, good, better, best and do the best that we can. So that's important. So now we've gone to the grocery and we've gotten all of our groceries. Now the most important part of this day is unpacking the groceries. Tiffany, what do some of your patients tell you they do when they get home from the grocery? I see this all the time. They get home from the grocery store and everybody just unpacks it and puts it right into the fridge. And so much food goes to waste. Everything just starts rotting. They forget they had it in the back. So we're actually going to save you money too. That's exactly right, because if you don't, if you can't see it, you don't know you have it, and then you forget, and you end up going out to eat, and it mm -hmm. goes bad. So right when you get home, we want you to unpack everything on the counter, clean all your vegetables and produce, chop them into bite-sized pieces, store them in glass jars, in Pyrex containers, Ziplocs. Um, so everything, when you open the refrigerator, you see everything that you have for the meals that you're preparing. It, is, it will make your life so much easier. It really is. It's honestly life changing and I teach the same way for patients. I, I tell people, go to the grocery store, plan about two to three hours of your day. And I really like to do it on a Sunday, Sunday afternoon, get organized, you go to the grocery store, come home, make one huge mess. So you're gonna make one huge mess in the kitchen when you come home and then you're gonna chop up everything, you're gonna rinse it. I literally have these Pyrex containers. Um, if you go to a Bed Bath & Beyond or some sort of store like that, you can buy them in boxes of 20, get two boxes. So you have unlimited amounts of 
glass Tupperware and you just line it up across the counter and you get home and you start chopping and dicing and you know putting everything and then in the fridge you just have everything stacked up and it's grab and go for the week. Yeah. My husband loves it. I'll mm -hmm. put a little sticky note on top with a big H for his initial on there so he knows which one's for him and you know it's, it's just getting organized. A lot of us just live these really hectic lifestyles where we're on the go and most of us are driving through drive throughs and we're just going into convenience stores and we're getting unhealthy things. If you can just take time out of your day to actually go to the grocery store, plan a list, get home, chop and dice, and put them in your containers. And look You've at these cute little snack containers. You just fill these up with nuts and seeds, throw them in your handbag or in your briefcase. You have them at work. It's so much better than stopping off at the gas yeah. station and walking in there where you might be tempted from something that's really not on the healthy side. Yeah, so let's actually show them how to make a couple little healthy grab-and-go snacks to keep in your car. You can keep them in your purse. I keep them in work, in my desk. Um, instead of eating and living on bars, we're going to just teach you how to create a couple easy, healthy um, grab-and-go snacks. So when you come home from the grocery store, you may have a lot of these that you need to unpack. This is from shopping in the bulk section of the grocery store, and you get much better prices buying mm -hmm. this way. But if you just leave it in the sack, that's not going to work for you. It can go rancid, and you can't even see what you have. So I love to save all kinds of glass jars, all different sizes, and I'll take things from my bulk bags and then fill up my glass jars so when I put it in the refrigerator, I can easily see what I have. And then things that don't need to be in the refrigerator that go in the pantry, again, very easy to see, right? Right? Yeah. yeah, and I love, I mean, when you're buying a bulk, you really are saving a ton of money because you're not paying for the packaging. So if you have a natural health food store in your area, I highly recommend trying to buy in the bulk and then coming home and putting it in your jars. Um, just for convenience of showing you kind of what we do here to make healthy snacks, this is what I do every Sunday. Come home, I have my little bulk session. If you try to pour it out of the bag, you're going to make a mess. Just trust me from that. Cut the top off and then pour it in your jar. Those are Brazil nuts. I also have some pumpkin seeds here. And then we have slivered almonds. I love slivered almonds. They're great to add to yogurt. They're great to throw onto a salad. Whole almonds are great too, but sometimes just having the slivered um, it makes, it makes it nice, for a nice and, change. Yeah, change and crunchy. Mm -hmm. So, um, and here are some raw um, cashews. cashews. So, you know, when you are buying nuts and seeds, um, you want to get raw. You don't want to buy the roasted and toasted and salted and honey, you know, all the added sugars and flavors. A lot of times they're using artificial preservatives and, and spices that um, aren't really meant to be eaten. They have MSG in them and stuff like that. So just keep it simple. Go for the raw. Um, and then what I like to do is get these one ounce containers. So I actually bought these at the dollar store. They are plastic, but as long as they're not going to get heated up, um, it, it's fine. The toxins uh, won't leach in to your food. And these are, you know, nuts and seeds, so you're going to keep them at room temperature. It's just really convenient to have a nice one-ounce container. You can put dressing in them, and I think that they're fabulous for snacks. So when you come home, here I am. I'm lining up all my Tupperwares across the table. Um, and then I also have my little jars here. So if you need a bigger snack, these are the ones that my husband's going to take home with him. You you just start scooping. You have pumpkin seeds, slivered almonds, a couple raw cashews. Here's Brazil nuts. Um, great high levels of selenium for men for help to keep a healthy prostate. And there's some pine nuts. So there is a nice snack. Men, you can throw this in your briefcase. Women, throw it in your purse. I particularly like to keep the glass ones in my car. That's when I find I'm the hungriest is when I'm in my car. Yeah. So. Put them in the glove compartment, put them in the center console. Um, and then so the smaller ones, the one here, these are the little one ounce containers. These are the ones I love to make for my daughter and put her in her little lunch box. You know, you just start scooping um, the pumpkin seeds and Brazil nuts. She loves cashews, so I always put some extra cashews in there. Um, little almonds, and these are grab and go for kids. These are grab and go, you can keep them um, in a little cupboard in the kitchen. So it's just a very easy way to, to stay healthy without grabbing all the junk because most people are grabbing these unhealthy bars or they're running into the convenience store and just drinking sodas and they're doing anything because they're starving. So put these 
these in your purse, put them in your briefcase, put them in the car, put them in your lunchbox. The nuts and seeds are loaded with good, good, healthy fats and protein. So they're going to keep you fuller for longer periods of time instead of just snacking on these empty carbohydrates. All right, so now I'm gonna show you how to make a healthy green smoothie in the kitchen. So before we even get started, I know this looks a little intimidating because I've literally pulled everything out of the cabinets. What you wanna focus on is getting organized in your kitchen. People say, oh, it takes too long to make a smoothie. It really doesn't. If you set your kitchen up right to where you have you know, your ingredients in your fridge and then you have your Vitamix near a cabinet where you have all of this stuff, it literally should be grab and go and you can just pour this stuff in, put it right back. I tell all my patients, if it takes you longer than three minutes to make a smoothie, you're doing something wrong. So now that you have your kitchen set up so you can make a smoothie very fast and efficiently, we're gonna go ahead and make one. So Carolyn, I want you to help me. Um, I think the magic number is about eight ounces of liquid in your smoothie. So let's maybe use the hazelnut um, liquid. And sometimes I'll do half water, half nut, um, nut milk. You, again, you can use coconut milk, almond milk, rice milk, um, any kind that you want. If you have a Vitamix, you'll see the eight ounce number here. So I always start off with the liquid and I like to add crushed ice. So if you like a thick smoothie, I'll add about a half a cup um, of ice and then we're gonna add our protein. So I personally like to use a pea protein or a hemp protein. Every now and then for my athletes, we'll use whey protein. There's egg proteins, there's white pro uh, rice proteins. There's all sorts of different kinds. So what I'm gonna use right now is our dairy-free um, pea protein. So depending on how many grams of protein, you're gonna add your scoop in there. Um, so now we have our protein, we have our liquid and some ice. And now to make a full, healthy smoothie, you need protein, carbohydrate, and fats. So now we're gonna add in a little carbohydrate and that's where the fruit comes in. So you can always use uh, fresh fruit if you want or you can use frozen fruit. Um, I like organic berries. Um, my rule with fruit is a fourth of a cup to a half of a cup. You don't wanna do more than a half a cup of fruit. It's too much fructose, too much sugar. Um, again, you wanna get creative and, and rotate. You can use pineapples, you can use cherries, you can use oranges and apples. You don't wanna make the same smoothie every day. So rotate your fruits. So now we have our protein, we have our carbohydrates, so now we need a healthy fat. Um, if you see my smoothie chart, you'll see there's all different kinds of healthy fats. You can do fish oil, you can do coconut oil, you could even put olive oil in there if you needed to, or even nuts and seeds. Uh, cashews happens to be um, one of the most calorically dense nuts and very high in fat along with macadamia nuts. So I'm gonna put a little bit of cashews. You could have put some um, almond butter that Carolyn made earlier into your smoothie. Um, but I'm gonna add maybe a little bit of pine nuts in here uh, and along with some pumpkin seeds. So now I know I have a good amount of healthy fat. I could have added in a little bit more olive oil um, or coconut oil, but that I think has a good amount of fat substance there. So now we have protein, carbohydrate, fat. Next, we need greens. So you can't have a green smoothie without the greens and that's why I love the Tower Garden because now we have fresh greens that have just been growing all organic. So I'm gonna cut some kale um, you can just go over to your tower garden, throw in some kale, you could use lettuce, you could use arugula, you could use spinach, you can use any kind chard, of fresh Swiss greens. Chard, chard is chard. great in a smoothie. And hey, if you don't have a tower garden, you don't have any fresh, buy frozen. You can get frozen spinach, frozen broccoli, I've put frozen asparagus in a smoothie. It doesn't matter. And believe it or not, even frozen, they flash freeze it. So there's a lot of research showing it retains the nutrients. So, you know, if you don't have fresh, frozen is fine. So now um, we have our protein, carbs, fats, we have greens. Now I like to add in a little bit of extra fiber. The fiber is gonna keep you more full um, and also help uh, with bowels. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of flax seed here. Okay. Um, and you really, you know, one to two teaspoons um, uh, you're fine, you could use chia seeds. Um, we have another product called Paleo Fiber that I love that we can put in the smoothies. And then last but not least, I like to put um, an algae. So I like spirulina or chlorella or some sort of really good green um, to help just 
get all these extra micronutrients or maybe just add minerals, but that's what your body thrives off of if, is all of those good greens. So again, as you know from watching these segments, we just love to eye it, so there's really no rules. Um, I probably put about a teaspoon in there. This is Body Ecology's Donna Gates Spirulina. If you don't know her, we love using her products as well. So here we are, we have our smoothie. We're gonna put the top on and I'm gonna turn it on and you know, we may need to add more liquid again with the ratio it's always different so we'll go ahead and start here um, turn it on low and then slowly increase all right so I kind of have a rule where I don't like people to blend for more than about 10 or 15 seconds. If you start blending a lot of these nutrients at those high speeds, especially using the Vitamix, you can start to oxidize the nutrients. So I tell people, you don't, don't over blend it, don't start the blender and go to the bathroom. You want to just blend it for about 10 or 15 seconds until you get the consistency that you like. You may need to add again a little bit more water or a little bit more of a nut butter. Um, but now you have a full meal. Now this smoothie should keep you full for two to three hours. It is has all the macronutrients, it's got protein, carbs, fats, um, it's got everything in it to keep you full. So just pour, and it doesn't look that pretty, but I promise you, with all the good nutrients that we just put in, it is delicious. I get to taste it? You can taste. It's delicious. Good, so cheers to making a healthy green smoothie for your health. Thank you for joining this webinar. I hope you now have a better understanding of how to get your kitchen organized, make grab and go snacks, and treat yourself to a healthy, balanced, and delicious smoothie. For more recipes, visit naturalmedicinenow.com. Take action and prevent disease. This is Dr. Tiffany Jackson wishing you a happy and healthy day.